So what is the standard time given to produce 100 units? That is 2 hours for worker A and 1 hour for worker B. So time taken is 30 hours into 15 rupees per hour plus half of time saved is how much? Yes, it is 6 hours by Mr. B. The standard time to produce 2600 units and 3600 units is not given. We are supposed to find out the standard time then only we can solve the problem. Hello everyone, I am Arun Kumar, lecturer in Department of Commerce and Management with the Ashram First Grade College, the Temple of Excellence, Mysore. Dear students, welcome to this new session on Unit Number 3, Session 3 on the topic Employee Cost. So in the last session, dear students, we were solving problems on Halsey and Rowan plan. In this session also, we will be continuing solving the problems on Halsey plan and Rowan plan. So in the last session, we solved two problems. Now, this is the third problem. From the following, calculate for each worker the total earnings under Halsey plan and Rowan plan. Yes, by using this information, we are supposed to find out the total earnings of two workers. So worker A and worker B under Halsey plan and also under Rowan plan. So what are the informations given in the problem? So if you look into the information, basic wages rate per hour. Yes. So per hour, how much they are paying? They are paying 10 rupees per hour for Mr. A, that is for worker A and 15 rupees per hour for worker B. So it is not compulsory that they have to pay equal wages to all the employees. It's up to the employer to pay as they want, as they wish. They can pay 20 rupees for one worker and they can pay 5 rupees for one worker and the worker can't question them. Okay. So here they are paying 10 rupees for worker A per hour and 15 rupees per worker per hour for worker B. Next, units produced. So how many units they produced? Yes, worker A produced 2600 units and worker B produced 3600 units. So time allowed for 100 units. So that is the standard time. So what is the standard time given to produce 100 units? That is 2 hours for worker A and 1 hour for worker B. So to produce 100 units, they had given 2 hours of time to Mr. A, that is worker A. And to produce 100 units of products, so they had given 1 hour of time for worker B. Next, time taken. So what is the actual time taken? The actual time taken is 50 hours and 30 hours. But the standard time to produce 2600 units and 3600 units by Mr. B, it is not given. Right. The standard time to produce 2600 units and 3600 units is not given. We are supposed to find out the standard time, then only we can solve the problem. So here 100 units, to produce 100 units, 2 hours is required. Now we are supposed to find out what is the time required to produce 2600 units and 3600 units. So now let us solve the problem under all safe plan. So before solving the problem, first we have to find out the standard time taken by worker A and worker B. So here you can see time taken by Mr. A is how much? Yes, it is 50 hours and time taken by Mr. B is how much? Yes, it is 30 hours. It is clear because it is given in the problem, right? Next, standard time. ST is nothing but standard time. See, to produce, to produce 100 units, they had given 2 hours. Okay. In case, if they produce 100 units in 2 hours, then what is the standard time required to produce 2600 units? Okay. In 2 hours, if they produce 100 units, in 2 hours, if they produce 100 units, what is the standard time required to produce 2600 units? So you will get the standard time that is 52 hours. So to produce 2600 units, the standard time fixed for worker A is how much? 52 hours. Very simple. Next for Mr. B, that is worker B, in one hour, if we can produce 100 units, 
that is the standard time given by the employer so in one hour is supposed to produce 100 units then to produce 3600 units what is the time required what is the standard time fixed it is 36 hours how much it is 36 hours so standard time for mr a is 52 hours and standard time for mr b is how much 36 hours okay now here you can find out the time saved so how to find out time saved yes easy time saved equals standard time minus time taken standard time minus time taken so standard time of mr a is how much yes just now we find it out 52 hours so what is the time taken by mr a it is just 50 hours so the difference is two hours this two hours is time saved by mr a next mr b so standard time is 36 hours what is the time taken by mr b it is 30 hours so, so time saved is 6 hours by Mr. B. So now we got to know what is the standard time and what is the time saved by Mr. A and Mr. B. That is worker A and worker B. So now we find out the total earnings under all save plan of Mr. A and of Mr. B. So what is the formula? So formula under all save plan to find out the total earning is time taken into hourly rate time taken into hourly rate plus half of standard time into hourly rate standard time into hourly rate so what is the time taken by worker a 50 hours into 10 rupees per hour okay plus half of time saved what is the time saved by mr a it is you can see here 2 hours so 2 hours into hourly rate of 10 rupees per hour so 50 into 10 you will get 500 plus half of 20 you will get 10 so 500 plus 10 510 is the total earnings of mr a that is worker a under all set plan now worker b same formula time taken into hourly rate plus half of time saved into hourly rate so time taken is 30 hours into 15 rupees per hour plus half of time saved is how much yes it is 6 hours by mr b that is worker b so time saved 6 hours into 15 rupees per hour so 30 into 15 450 plus half of 90 so 45 so 450 plus 45 495 is the total earning of worker b under wholesale plan now we move on to find out the total earnings under row one plan so what is the formula under row one plan total earnings equals time taken into hourly rate time taken into our rate plus time saved divided by standard time into time taken into hourly rate okay time taken into our rate so time taken is how much by mr a 50 hours into hourly rate 10 rupees per hour plus time saved by mr a is 2 hours divided by standard time is how much 52 hours into 50 that is time taken 50 into hourly rate 10 so 50 into 10 500 plus 2 divided by 52 into 500 so 500 plus 19.23 total 519.23 is the total earnings of mr a that is worker a under row one plan next worker b same format same formula time taken is 30 hours into 15 rupees per hour plus time saved is 6 hours divided by standard time of 36 hours and time taken 30 hours into 15 rupees per hour so 450 plus 6 by 36 into 450 so 450 plus 75 525 rupees is the total earnings of worker b under row one plan in case if the standard time is not given just now I solved how to find out the standard time and how to find out the time saved. So next moving on to the next problem, problem number 4. So from the following, from the following, calculate total wages earned under wholesale plan and rover plan. Yes, you are supposed to find out the total earnings under wholesale plan and rover plan. So here you can see basic wage rate per hour. So what is the basic wage per hour? It is 
12 rupees. So per hour they are paying 12 rupees and units produced is how much? 2400 units. Units produced is how much? 2400 units. Time allowed for 100 units. Time allowed for 100 units is how much? 2 hour 30 minutes. That means to produce 100 units, they are giving 2 hour 30 minutes of time. If that is the case, what is the time they are giving to produce 2400 units? Next, time taken is how much? 50 hours. So, time taken we have and hourly rate we have. Now, we have find out standard time and time saved. We are supposed to find out the standard time and time saved. So, now let us move on to find out the standard time and time saved. So, here time taken is how much? 50 hours it is given. So, now find out the standard time. So, 2.5 hours, 2.5 hours, in 2.5 hours, you can produce 100 units. In 2.5 hours, you can produce 100 units. Then what is the time required to produce 2,400 units? So, 2.5 divided by 100 into 2,400, you'll get 60 hours. How much? You'll get 60 hours. So, the standard time is how much now? It is 60 hours. So, now apply the formula under all set plan. So, what is the formula? Time taken into hourly rate plus half of time saved into hourly rate. So, here you can see time taken is 50 hours. It is given in the problem and per hour is getting 12 rupees plus half of time saved. So, what is the time taken? Time taken by the person or the worker is how much? It is 50 hours. Time taken is 50 hours. And what is the standard time? It is 60 hours. So, 60 is the standard time minus time taken of 50 hours. So, what is the balance? 10 hours. This 10 hours is called what? Time saved. Right? Time saved. So, time taken 50 into 12 per hour plus half of time saved 10 hours into 12 per hour. So, 600 plus half of 120. So, you'll get 60. So, 600 plus 60, 660 is the total earning under Halsey plan. Next, under row 1 plan. So, under row 1 plan, formula is time taken into R rate plus time saved divided by standard time into time taken into R rate. So, what is the time taken? 50 hours into 12 rupees per hour plus time saved is 10 hours divided by standard time of 60 hours into time taken 50 hours into 12 per hour. So, if you do the calculations, you will get 50 into 12 600 plus 10 by 60 into 50 into 12 600 into 600. So, 600 plus 100, you will get 700. So, this is the total earnings under row 1 plan. So, this is how you are supposed to find out the total earnings of an individual worker under row 1 plan and Halsey plan. So, with this, I am going to wind up this session. We'll meet up in the next session. Until then, thank you all. Have a nice day. Namaste.